Hello everyone, welcome back to my next tutorial in Siemens NX. In this tutorial, we are going to model this boost bearing using Siemens NX. While modeling this component, always start with the material addition features and do the material removal features later. While modeling this component, I am going to use this orthotropic view, front, front view and top view. While modeling this one, I am going to start with this base plate. Then I will model this cylinder. Then I will model this support feature. Then finally I will create this uh, elliptical hole and this high hole with the diameter 5 countersink. CSK is nothing but countersink at 45 degree to diameter 3. After modeling this component, the component will look like this. This is the boost bearing. Now we'll learn this model step by step. So these are the steps I have followed it. Now we'll learn it step by step here. File, new. Here, here the units are in mm. So choose model in millimeter. Provide a file name. Specify the location. Just save OK. Now for easy modeling, I'm just keeping this model diagram in the left side and software in the right side to see the dimension easily now here you can see the dimensions are here it's showing now we can model it here now we'll start with this base plate first go to the sketch i'm going to take the top plane just say ok Take the rectangle, just put the rectangle here, press the roller to confirm. Now specify the dimension. The total length is 166 plus 32 plus 32. So just click it here, just double click here, 166 plus 32 plus 32, press enter. Do you want to scale the entire sketch? No, no formula, just no. This is 230, press the roller to confirm. And this length, this length is 75. Just click it here. Just modify it. So 75, press enter. Press the roller to confirm. Now we just want to make the sketch to symmetric to both the x axis and y axis. For that, use this symmetric, make symmetric. Click this point, click this point, and click this axis. Just apply. Again, we just want to make it to x axis. Just reset it. Click this point. Click this point, click this axis, just apply it. Now we have made and the sketches will be fully defined. Right click and finish the sketch. Extrude and uh, make it here a symmetric value. The total extrusion height is 28. Here you can see, just provide 28. Press enter, just say OK. And hide this sketch. Now we have created this base plate. Then we will create this cylinder with a diameter of 100. For that, just go to the sketch again. Here we need to create in the front plane. Just say OK. This is already a center line. Just take the circle. Just create a circle here. Press the roller to confirm. Again, press the roller to confirm. Now, the center point of the circle is 65 mm from the bottom. Here change this into entire sketch assembly. Just move your cursor to the outer edge of the circle. You will get the center point. Just click this center one. Bottom line, you will get the dimension. Just modify this dimension as a 65. Press enter. Press the roller to confirm. Then we just want to specify the diameter. This diameter is 100. Press enter. Now we have created the sketch. Just right click and finish sketch. Go to extrude. Here just make it as the unite. Here make it as symmetric value. The total extrusion length is 100. Here you can see. Make this as 100. Press enter. Just say OK. Now we have created this cylinder. Then we will create this supporting features. For that I add this one. Go to the sketch again 
again take the front plane to save ok now just take the line here it is center point this edge has to be chosen just click the center point click the here press the roller to confirm again press the roller to confirm similarly or put a circle just take a circle center point make a circle press the roller to confirm just delete this in orient to the sketch this one you just delete this one now create a circle to get the center point this one is the center create a circle take a circle delete it take a circle yes now we have created the circle pour into the sketch now take a line this point and connect it to bottom line and again press the roller to confirm here this point connect it to the bottom line now again close the sketch press the roller to confirm again press the roller to confirm now we just want to remove unwanted edges and here we just want to make line this as vertical select this line make it as vertical again select this line make it as vertical now go to the trim delete this edge control z control z delete this one this one and this one take a line again connect it here this connect it here close the line take a line now see make these lines are vertical this is no issues actually only this line has to be vertical over into the sketch select this line make it to be vertical select this line make it to be vertical the sketch is completely closed now just go here finish the sketch and extrude here just make it symmetric value and this length extrusion length is 75 and unite just save ok now we have created this sketch now now we just want to make a hole here for the take a hole place it with the edge you will get the hole this one is the normal simple hole with the diameter is here you can see the diameter is 66 press enter until next just save ok then we just want to make a hole here for the sketch select the surface just save ok now take a line make it your entire assembly this point this point this one just make it some 250 make this as a construction line now 
draw the sketch just take a rectangle draw the line this dimension is 20 cancel this dimension is 20 press, in, press the roller to confirm make this as a symmetric to this one just ok and this center distance is to, create, to get the center point just draw line, line this is you provide some value 60 make this as a construction line the distance from this line to this line is 32 press enter now we just want to draw a arc just go to the arc center and endpoints this center points this end point and this end point similarly this point from here to here press the roller to confirm now specify the total dimension of 25 from here to here the dimension is 25 double click here this one is 25 press enter this height is 20 and this dimension is 25 now remove the unwanted edges trim just remove this edge and remove this edge now we got this one now just finish the sketch extrude just change the direction until next here we make it subtract just say ok edit parameter subtract just say ok the same hole has to be mirrored in this direction for that use the mirror feature if you are not having this mirror feature just go to the menu insert design features or associate copy mirror features the feature is extrude 9 and mirror plane has to be chosen this plane just say ok now we have created both sides the hole then we just want to create couple of edge blend just choose the edge blend this one the radius i'm just providing 15 here also will be 15 and this edge and this edge just say ok then finally we just want to create high wall with 5mm diameter of code at 45 degree to 3 F to create this hole standard holes we just want to create a point here before that we just want to create a plane so datum plane select the surface at distance change the direction here from bottom to this center point is 65 from here to the radius is 50 65 plus 50 65 plus 50 plus center reverse direction just say ok now we just want to create a point at the center take this mid plane sketch make you are in the entire assembly take here datum point here choose entire assembly datum point orient to the sketch
take a point right click select from here just close it yes we have created a point here ah. now finish the sketch now we have points here now just go to the hole select this point here it is a countersink hole with hole diameter the hole diameter is 3 and uh, countersink diameter is 5 sink angle is 45 here you can see normal to the face until next subtract just save ok now hide the plane and sketch now see now we have created the oil hole here now we have finished all the features just have a look once here there is a bush this this would just be a simple uh, concentric uh, cylinder you can create it easily now we are, in this tutorial we have learned bush bearing in semen ns software in next tutorial we will come up with a new component if you like this video please share to your friends for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you for watching my videos thank you